Easter Sunday star stand-up comedian Joe Coy as a fictional version of himself named Joe Valencia, who visits his Filipino family on said holiday. While initially tasked with brokering peace between his bickering mom and aunt, Joe is also dealing with a fledgling acting career, his apathetic teenage son, and risky business dealings. All between family meals, of course. Taking inspiration from the 1995 film Friday and setting the film in Daly City, California, aka the most densely Filipino populated area in the United States, Easter Sunday serves as an extension of Joe Coy's stand-up, which regularly featured loving jokes about his Filipino-American culture and family dynamics. Even as one of the largest Asian American populations in the United States, Filipinos and Filipino Americans are still underrepresented in major U.S. studio films. But Easter Sunday hopes to change that. It also doesn't hurt that the one and only Steven Spielberg greenlit the pitch for Easter Sunday after watching Koi's 2019 Netflix stand-up special coming in hot and reaching out to the comedian. Easter Sunday director Jay Chandrasekhar had this to say about the inimitable director's involvement in making this film. Great notes from him were, there were certain times you're like, well, this person's more famous. And he's like, yeah, but they're not as good an actor as that person. And I say, oh, yeah, right. This guy is this guy is sort of the king of show business, and he gets to make those kind of decisions where you're like, choose the best actor always. Some of those actors do happen to be early Hollywood Pinoyers Tia Carrere, who plays Tita Teresa, and Lou Diamond Phillips, who makes an appearance as himself. After decades in the industry where both have played different ethnicities or even completely other races, Easter Sunday gave them the chance to play up the Filipino side of their identities. For me, I'm so grateful to be able to actually play Filipino, you know, after playing all these other ethnicities for the past however many decades, to get to um, celebrate my actual ethnicity, you know, on the big screen. Screen. I kept saying, I gotta have Tia, we gotta have Lou, we got to, we gotta have him in. And, and to see Tia, you know, this is her first time in 40 years getting a character that's described as Filipino-American. And that was a big moment. And I know we're gonna keep moving on past this now. Just like Crazy Rich Asians, Easter Sunday was on its way to streaming only on Netflix, which is home to Joe Koi's stand-up specials. Deciding to make this a theatrical debut did mean leaving the safety of one home, but the filmmaking process still felt like working with family. Yeah, being with other Filipinos on set, it was like having shorthand. You know, you didn't have to explain anything, and you just started playing, and there was an understanding. And it, and it felt good to be surrounded by people that that look like me and breathe like me, you know what I mean? And make a movie about that. It was it was a hard, hard time to shoot that movie, but the love and energy was there. We knew that this was something special. All in all, Easter Sunday is a love letter to Filipino culture that was lovingly brought to life with Joe Coy's stand-up, made with the people he admires, and those who have led the way for Filipinos in Hollywood. We've always said Crazy with Chase, you know, just opening the door to allow like an Easter Sunday and many more stories to come through. It's not a novelty, it just should be a norm, you know? And this is just uh, someone's great story, Joe's great story and his great family. So it deserves to be told. And um, at the end of the day, it's an entertaining movie and I think that's what's important.